Hi, I'm David with Horse Trailer Restoration. Some of you know me as the Horse Trailer Guru. We're going to start the first part of a series of chapters on horse trailer safety and preventative maintenance. We're going to start with the business end, the hitch, work our way back, and educate you on all the bits and pieces that are necessary to keep you safe and have an uneventful trip. This is the traditional old school style of cable. Works just the same. The only problem is it can be kind of a pain in the neck. People want to tie it in knots. They want to loop it. They do break on occasion. There's a simple fix. You can loop it like this. Put a tie wrap in place. Something light. And I'm not talking a bread wrapper, you know, bag tie. It's the plastic tie wrap. It allows it to expand, or if you need to extend it, it will do that as well. And that will keep it out of the way so you don't have to weave it through your chains and keep it from dragging the ground. But this is the traditional style that most trailers come with. These are an accordion type. They're the same length. They serve the same purpose, same tensile strength, much more user friendly and they stow themselves like a slinky when they're not deployed. So, much better device, quick connect, and uh, inexpensive. Let's start with the breakaway cable. A lot of you have a coil cable. You'll see from some of the inserts that you've had this in the past, a long, cumbersome cable that gets in the way. A lot of you want to take and weave it through the chain hooks, which encumbers it and won't allow it to do the job it needs to do. The purpose of this device is, is that in the event of an emergency and the hitch releases, the chains break, and the cord end comes unplugged, there's a little pin, plastic pin, that goes into a device that is connected to a breakaway battery some of them are mounted in the tack room. Some of them are mounted underneath the tongue. In this case, this one's right here. This one has a charging system. The majority of the trailers out there do not. So it's important that this is maintained and for a few dollars, you can get a charger that works off your auxiliary circuit on your tow vehicle that charges this in the event this was ever pulled. And what happens is, is that if everything else has failed, this is about four feet long. It allows everything else to fail. Then it deploys by pulling out and pulling the pin, which actually makes contact with the battery and the brake system. By doing that, it puts on full on brakes, all the power of that small battery to the brake system and stops the trailer from rolling or freewheeling back down the highway whether you're on a hill or anywhere it's important that your brakes are adjusted properly and evenly so that that trailer when it does ignite the brakes tracks straight and true rather than going left or right going into oncoming traffic or god forbid off of a hill or a, a cliff 